up YouTube. I just wanna, you know, kinda talk to you guys today about my, uh, Woody Breeder. This is an update. Um, yeah, so, Top Dog Sellers sent me the new intake here. I actually broke my other one by twisting it too far and it snapped off. I have the piece right here. See, it snapped off and the thread is still inside of there. So, that's just a milk jug. That, that's just a, the sealed water jugs that I use for RO. Um, I just topped off the water. Um, Magnificent, as you guys can see, moved over here. I just fed it a piece, two pieces of krill. It's kind of moving the other one towards its mouth right now. I just fed this guy two pieces of krill, this an enemy. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the refugium. I've been noticing tons of life ever since I got the new intake. I don't know if it was because I didn't have it hooked up to the tank and like they had a time to breed or repopulate or whatever, but I have a ton in here. Let's see if I can see any right here. Um, let me look. And they're always all over the place. Let me just look. Let's see if I can find one here. That'll be easy for you guys to see. Oh, looks like there's one right there. You guys see him? Right on that little piece. Right there, it's a little brown spot. He's not moving right now. Let's just see if he moves. It doesn't look like he's gonna move, but I think there's some rotifiers in there. I'm not sure, but I think I've been seeing them. See, like right there. Um, looks like, oh, there he goes. That guy's moving now. I think that's a coat pod. Yeah, but he's pretty awesome. Well, there's a ton of them in here. It's like insane. I need to clean the glass on the side of this acrylic. But, yeah. The Eheim Jaeger and the Reef Gently Acclimate should be coming in tomorrow, and I plan on buying a Dragonette. Um. Just give me your full opinion on that, because, you know, just go at me, I mean, attack me. I want to hear all your guys' opinions, good and bad, about me getting a, uh, Dragonette at this stage. You know, if it's just some douche on there that doesn't want me to get one because he doesn't have one, then I'm going to get it, but, um, let me know if I'm far enough in. I might not be far enough in yet. Like, I just started out of this tank, but... I have a refugium with tons of life in it, so it won't starve itself. And when I get it, I'll probably get five more balls of Kato, just to kind of help. Um, yeah, the Eheim Jaeger, as in like Jaegermeister, or Jaeger Bombs, is coming. Uh, Reef Gently Acclimate, which I'm going to use to. Oh, that's why it's all fuzzy. I haven't zoomed in. Yeah, I'm using this on my. It's on my phone, so it's not like a camera. Um,. Yeah, but hopefully it'll pe replace this piece of junk. Um, this is the Marineland Visitherm piece of shit. Look at this, my temperature is 79.3, and trust me, that's just the light. At night, oh my god, this thing can't even heat the water. No matter how high I have it, and if I set it up too high, then for some reason it'll work and it'll, like, fry my tank. But then, if I don't... It won't, so that's just gay as hell. I mean, that's just plain old stupid. I just cleaned the skimmer cup out and put it back on, and I lowered it a little bit more because I was getting really wet skimmate. But I should get some good skimmate out of here. Um, but yeah, everything's looking pretty sweet. Here's kind of a far back view. And it's way quieter than my freshwater tank right now because I have to top off my freshwater tank. That's right behind my bed. Uh, there's the mini tank. Um, yeah, that thing's that thing's full of life. Ever since there's no since there's no fish in there, coat paws and whatever can just completely overrun it. They can do whatever the hell they want. But yeah, I've been look I've been staying with a uh, three oh nine three Andrew. I think that's his channel. 
But uh, go check him out. He's 303093andrew, one word. His channel is like, it's pretty awesome. I just watched a video of his where he's making live rock. Um, his channel is pretty awesome. He's setting up a 20 gallon reef and uh, he's using basically the same kind of overflow system that I used and decided not to after a while. I have, the, I have the actual thing right here. It's this kind of style overflow. I built this like three months ago or so. Uh, it worked, but it was just, you know, I had it on that small tank, you know, which was completely unnecessary. I was just stupid. I had no idea what I was doing then, but then I had like a really, I was using this as a refugium. It looked exactly like Samuel, like Wayne's. Used to be with Wayne's Fish World or whatever he calls that channel. He used to look like his old one that was like really stupid and janky. But yeah, it worked though. I mean, I was definitely seeing better, more life in my tank. But yep, everything's looking amazing. The water's just clearing up because I just cleaned up my filter pads. Um, yeah, but I'm so pumped about these guys finally hosting. If I even stick my hand in there, they'll try and bite me, and it kind of sucks, but... And they bite me hard. I mean, holy crap, you wouldn't think a fish that small would be able to bite, but Jesus Christ, it's amazing. This guy doesn't touch me when I go near his enemy. I was feeding them today, and they bit me. They wouldn't let go. It was, like, painful. It's like little pinches. It's, it's annoying. Um, but Eheim Jaeger's coming. I'll probably do a video on that. Show you guys what that's like. I'm thinking of setting up a quarantine tank and getting the odd, new the Odyssey 36 inch metal halide bulb fixture. Um, my tank's a little dirty right now. Um, live rock, pulling live rock, and yeah, using this crappy little top fin or whatever this brand is. Little mag cleaner in here. Just clean off the glass. It works pretty well. It's not as good as a mag float. But I only have a small one that's designed for acrylic tanks, so it's really weak. Because, you know, they make them weaker for acrylic because it's not as strong as glass. But everyone uses acrylic because it's more, it's clearer. It make it way cleaner than glass. It's easier to clean, too. It takes a lot less. It's, it's easier to get calcium built off of, of uh, acrylic, but, um, getting kind of off topic here, but here's the Kato, everything's looking good, this, this refugium is 6 gallons, which is plenty enough for a 40, so tell me what you guys think about the Dragonette, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a male, because they're having a little sale over at my pet store right now, and they have like 15 females, and I think like 2 males in right now, sorry if I keep going away, I'm not used, I'm just not good at, I'm not a good cameraman, but, let me know what you think about what you guys think about that. Give me your honest opinion. Um, which people on YouTube are pretty good at doing. Here's the UV sterilizer. I have it pouring right over the output. So that way, I don't know. It's not really doing anything, but that's just where I have it. It silences it, I guess. Um, I got as many micro bubbles as I was. Thank God that's over. See, it's my magnificent starting to close up because it's been eating. But as a comparison. Here's a small piece of that lot of this dry rock when I first got it. Alright, that's a brand new piece I just tossed in there to show you guys. Now look at this rock. It's just it's turning like a slight brownish color. So here's a side by side comparison. Showing me that it's starting to turn into live rock. This is covered in bubbles right now because I was having a bubble issue. Still kinda am. Look at all these micro bubbles floating all over the place. See, those are annoying. Um, yeah, but all the fish are happy. Ugh. Um, I kind of did a little bit of an autopsy on the cowfish, and it had an internal parasite that was freaking humongous. It was like a worm, and it was like... Ah, uh, it's just huge, and it couldn't have been from before, because... I don't know, because it was in, a. Uh, Cause I, I didn't have it in the tank after it died. It immediately, I didn't even. It wasn't even in the tank when it died. I took it out. But yeah, it was a huge worm thing that was like biting off from on the inside of it. 